Welcome to Toonchever Studio. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up and use a controller with Dolphin on Android to play Nintendo Wii games. If you want to know how to set up and install Dolphin on Android, check the links in the description for all my Android emulation tutorials. For this tutorial, I'll be using the Razer Kishi controller, but this also works with APS4, PS5 and any Xbox controller. The biggest problem with emulating Nintendo Wii games is motion controls. While the absolute best way to play these games is by using the original controllers, you can emulate them with a standard controller and it's still very good. Another issue is there are so many different variations that it can be quite confusing. So today I'm going to be focusing on the classic controller extension used to play classic games like Super Mario 64 and virtual console games. And I also use this one for Mario Kart Wii as well. Now before we begin, I hate doing this kind of thing so I'll be quick, but 99% of my viewers are not subscribed to the channel and I understand why. You get the information you need and you don't need me again. So I'm not going to ask you to subscribe, although it will help, but I am going to ask you to hit the like button if you find the information useful. Sorry to be that guy, let's get back to the tutorial. So let's take a look at setting up our Wiimote with a classic controller. Now a classic controller is an attachment to the Nintendo Wiimote which helps you play virtual console games and classic games like Super Mario 64, Ocarina of Time, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past and things like that. Now a lot of these games can be played with the GameCube controller as well so if you've done the GameCube setup then you don't really need to do this but maybe the GameCube configuration isn't working for some reason sometimes these things happen and the classic controller is probably the, the second best way to go. So let's Say we want to play a legend of zelda a link to the past so i'm going to hold down on that game go to edit game settings i'm going to start by going through a few graphic settings just to make sure change my video back end to vulcan because i like that one uh, and then i'm going to go to shader compilation make sure that's hybrid uber shaders and you're not really going to want to be messing around with a bunch of these but what i will do actually while i'm here is i'll go to enhancements and i'll switch it to three times native 1080p because this game isn't going to be that difficult to emulate I wouldn't use 1080p on Nintendo Wii games. I would use 1080p on some GameCube games. I just basically go on a frame by frame basis. So hold back down on Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, edit game settings, go to Wii Input, Wii Remote 1, emulated. Now when it says extension, I'm going to change that to the classic controller. And this will bring up the buttons for the classic controller. Now this setup depends on how you want to play your games. If you want to play with the classic Nintendo configuration, then A will be on B and B will be on A and Y will be X and X will be Y because Nintendo controllers have A here and B here. If you look at any Nintendo joypad in history, they've always had A where Microsoft puts the B button. It was only Microsoft and Sony that turned around and changed the A button or the most prominent button to be here. I actually think in Japan, Circle is still enter on PlayStation and B is still enter on Xbox in Japan. That's how ingrained it is in Japanese culture. I, however, do like to have the A button on A and the B button on B, but it does depend on, a ga on which game it is going to be. So if I press B, bind it to B. So it really does depend on the game, however I set this up. But if the game does have one of those on-screen controls where A is much better at this side, then I'll put it on this side. ZL and ZR, I use the back triggers for that. And then plus and minus is the classic start and select. We do not need the home button. Then the left stick is the left analog stick. So left stick up, left stick down, left stick left, left stick right. And then the right stick is the right analog stick. It's a very simple configuration left stick up down left and right and then the two triggers the left and right this is one thing that the classic controller has over the gamecube controller so l and r the two left triggers there and the d-pad up down left and right and that's it that is the most simple setup possible so far we go back we don't need any of this because we're not going to be using motion controls we're not going to be using any of the buttons usually when you plug the extension the classic controller extension they used to have the classic and the classic controller pro both of which i have at home and you just plug the classic controller in and you just let the wiimote dangle at the bottom this configuration also works on games like Mario Kart Wii, where you don't use motion controls, and I think it works on Kirby's Epic Yarn, because that can be played with a GameCube controller as well, and there's not any motion controls on that. That's it for this video, relatively quick and easy one. If you've liked this video, if you found this information useful, please hit that like button if you're new here. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Let me know down in the comments any games that you think let me know down in the comments anything you want to know about Dolphin Android and I'll see if I can make a video about it. And as always, don't do anything I wouldn't do.